Hey guys, just a quick disclaimer here. You can do this with any type of Blizzard game. I know the title says Blizzard games and I'm doing the demo with Overwatch, but the demo is just for demonstration purposes. So you can do this with literally any type of Blizzard game. So you just click the right uh, video game you want on the Lutus website and you're done. Okay, I'm with the video. Thank you, bye. Hello and welcome everybody. I am the IT guy and in this video we'll be looking at how to install Overwatch on uh, Linux. So I'm doing this on Ubuntu and I uh, would advise you to just choose whatever operating system that you want to. Uh, I'm using um, Kubuntu which is just Ubuntu with a KDE desktop environment. But you can, this works for any type of Linux distribution but because Ubuntu is the most popular Linux distribution right now I'm gonna go with that. So we are going over to this website over here, so Lutris.net, and if you do not know what Lutris is, basically Lutris is this sort of uh, launch client for Linux games, for Windows games actually, to run on Linux. So uh, it's, a op it's an open source community, and uh, you can also support them by going to support us. You can give them a donation. Um, you can go over to their Patreon. Uh, whatever if you want to support them um, they do this for free these are just some uh, guys doing this uh, in their spare time I believe and it's an open source community and they just give you this uh, option of playing games for Windows on Linux using Lutris and they take care of all the heavy uh, duty stuff like uh, putting up uh, wine config files and stuff like that that all happens behind the scenes it's sort of like Steam Play but this is just for any type of game that is not on Steam. Uh, Lutris will kind of take care of it. It has a lot of pre-made uh, uh, things. When we go over to games, for example, we'll get, get to that in a second. They've got all these kinds of um, launchers that will install and launch the games for you without, have, without you having to do any of the... Um, without you having to do any of the configuration yourself and uh, most of the things that they post here are tested and they do kind of work you know uh, in the best way possible so first of all let us go over to download and we're gonna go over to so Ubuntu elementary pop OS so if you have any kind of Ubuntu uh, type of distribution over here we have the installation instructions for Debian we have Solus Fedora OpenSUSE, so there's a lot of options over here. They do uh, provide a lot of installation uh, instructions. So if you're running something like CentOS, it's a little bit different. You'll have to install Lutris and stuff like that. Um, or you'll have to install uh, it from the Git repository is what I meant to say. So it's gonna be a little bit different over there. But as you can see for Ubuntu, always nice and easy. Just, just you're just copying this and let's open up our terminal window here let's paste that in there so let's enter our password now just press enter let's go back let's do a sudo apt update so sudo apt update i'm gonna update these yes and then we're going to go back to the website and then we're just going uh, to say sudo apt install Lutris. So that's sudo apt install Lutris. And there we go. That is all taken care of. We can now close our uh, window over here. Well, let's make sure that it's installed. So I'm going to go over to games and normally Lutris should be here. There we go. There's Lutris. So over here, there's a lot of options over here as well. So you can get uh, different um, runners for, um, so there's Linux and there's Steam, there's Wine, but you can also get different uh, runners. So we can go into the runners over here and we can add things like um, Nintendo DS em uh, emulator, we can get a uh, Sega Genesis emulator, but you know, we're not gonna, not gonna go over that right now. What this video is about is how to install Overwatch, of course. So we're gonna go over to games, we're gonna type in Overwatch. There we 
there we go overwatch and uh what we can do is just click install over here and this will open uh within lutris we can open the xdg open and then we can install over here we're just going to click install again and this, go this is going to install it in our home folder so in that previous step you could have uh, click browse and you could have uh, changed that location but we're going to go with the default location for now and so what's it what's it doing right now is it's creating a wine configuration file specifically for overwatch so uh, basically what lutris is doing right now is uh, doing all of the heavy lifting like i said so it's creating a config file for wine it's making sure that all the settings are correct for Overwatch and doing the best uh, performance settings and stuff like that. So that is thing that are, those are things that that are being taken care of just uh, by using Lutris itself. So if you didn't have Lutris, there'll be a lot of config uh, configuring things here and there to make sure that Overwatch is working the way it should. But uh, luckily for us. Uh, the guys at Lutris uh, or the community at Lutris uh, took care of that for us and they just provided this in this handy little install uh, script over here so I'm just gonna let this run for a while now so this is going to install uh, the, the battle.net launcher and then the battle.net launcher will um, will launch and then we're gonna install overwatch and from there on you can uh, definitely get uh get going with installing overwatch and also with things like world of warcraft or starcraft or whatever you want to play any blizzard game works on uh, lutris so we'll be right back with you so now on to the next stage of the installation we're going to install the battle.net blizzard app i'm going to click continue this will install the app So there we have it the installation is complete let's create a desktop shortcut and an application menu shortcut as well and let's just uh, close so right now we have our overwatch icon on the desktop over here let's open our game but that's not where it is because right now we just installed the battle.net app and now uh, battle.net so the battle.net app will have to install overwatch itself now let's now click install so what you'll notice is that there appears to be uh, a C drive right now that is actually like a virtual C drive that uh, Lutris will create so you're gonna go ahead and click install and now we just wait for the installation to uh, complete and then we'll see if it works. All right, so our battle.net app has installed Overwatch. Let's click play and let's see if this actually works. It should work. It has a gold rating on Lutris. So, uh, yeah, I'm hoping for the best here. It looks like it works. Uh, what you might see over here in the corner is compiling shaders and as long as it's doing that let's just quit uh, get out of there as long as it's doing that compiling shaders the performance will be a little bit uh, you know boom. hey guys it's the IT guy from the future here I had to mute this part of the audio because uh, the sound of the game was just too terrible and you couldn't hear anything and you probably would have gotten ear cancer anyway if you listened to it. It was so loud, so I had to mute it a little bit. Um, so basically, uh, what, what what I wanted to say here is that when you're playing the game, you will notice a significant performance drop in the beginning, as long as these uh, compiling uh, as the compiling shaders message is uh, still there. So you'll have to wait for the compiling shaders message in the left uh, bottom corner to. Uh, to go away after that the game will be playable and uh, I have to say that it is playable but uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, it's still you know it's still like uh, it's it's still not as performant as you would play it on Windows but it's playable it's definitely playable you'll use a, you'll lose a couple of frames here and there uh, it might depend also on your type of setup you know if you have a very very powerful PC uh, the performance drop might not even be noticeable but I'm using like 
an RX 480 and a Core i5 from the 6000 series so uh, the performance impact was noticeable on my computer but I don't think that you know it will be so for everybody so if you're playing this um, on a on a good PC you won't notice any performance drops but you'll still have these uh, compiling the compiling shader message will still appear and you'll still have these performance drops in the beginning but they'll go away they'll go away eventually so yeah I'm gonna leave it that, that guys that was actually all you need to do you will just have to install Lutris and then install the battle.net NetApp, install overwatch or whatever game you want uh, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and if you did please leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye bye